should we add more? It's something we've talked a lot about. And we knew we wanted to add more. We know we wanted to change things. We knew that we would find holes that we kind of wanted to fill. That's how Brood War developed. Um, that's how the Frozen Throne was added to Warcraft 3. There was things that we felt like this would be fun and would add to it. I think what we, where we're at right now with Heart of the Swarm is a spot where we are adding more that actually improves that landscape. But we are, first, you know, we are at that edge. I don't think there's a lot more room. Where I think the real question comes in is Legacy of the Void. What are we going to do? I mean, it's one of those questions I ask, um, and that Dustin and I talk about uh, the team as well, is, is, is really more better for Legacy of the Void. So we even started with Heart of the Swarm's balance, removing some, of, some units to add some. Uh, honestly, the fans and the community pushed back on that and changed it and said, look, these are viable. These are things we like. Don't remove what we like. And these new things allow for different options. It needs to be viable to the players from the tactics that they can bring to any particular match and also to the viewer to understand, whoa, man, what a cool combo they're doing right now, or that's so awesome. Watching Vipers with uh, Hydras underneath, it's crazy. You, that, that really does not exist today. You'd think Hydras would be more viable, more used, but this was a new tactic that we'll see, I think, a lot more of in Heart of the Storm, and that's a good thing, not a bad thing. But for me, it's keeping track of it all and making sure that it's tight and we're right at that limit. So the question for me really goes, okay, now, smart guys, what are you gonna do with like a seal of void? And we, we continue to talk about it, and it may be that by then, there's enough understanding and we feel comfortable enough that a couple of additions is okay, but it may be that we just go some in a, in a different direction and add a different mode or do something like that. But I think for Heart of the Swarm, this is lining up to be really nice. One of the reasons we're even doing this is, you know, we had particular balance at last year's BlizzCon towards the end of the year, and we've made some pretty significant changes, removed units actually that just weren't working, and you have it in a pretty tight spot right now that we feel good about, and we're very close to heading into beta. So we want to give this reveal, and then, you know, we'll head off here into beta, and we'll see what the world kind of says. So I'm a Terran player, the new version of the Reaper, which has regeneration now out of combat. So you can go do a raid and then pull back and do it. Well, I'm not, I'm not a great micro player. And for me, one of the most significant things was viability of Reapers for me. I, I really don't have a build that has Reapers involved at all. And so I started playing with the new Reaper and it was really, I was, it's just been in a couple of games, but it's totally changed the landscape of using that. Like, wow, this is actually, I'm able to put pressure in a way that I couldn't before, but just that change, just that tweak to Reaper. So for me, just that is enough. Um, Widowmaker looks really interesting to me. I hate it when I'm being raided, I can't deal with it. If I can put a couple of Widowmakers there and in comes whatever race harassment is in and I've paid a fairly low cost to have some things just immediately decimated, that would be it. I gotta tell you also as a Terran player, watching how effective Viper Yank um, with uh, Abduct is, to siege tanks scares me a lot. Oracle's uh, cloaking field is crazy. I think it's gonna be just insane some of the stuff that they do on full off. So, you know, I get geeked up watching the, the videos as well about what this means and how players will use it. We've set up some things that are our examples of how the community may use it or how we're using it today, but I think the community is gonna find some just crazy combos that we're not even imagining right now. Some of the stuff we're trying to do in general, and we, we I recently just put out a blog post on behalf of the team, kind of this, these things that we're working on. There's pretty big features that are quality of life improvements across the entire game. They're not directed at teaching or helping the lower level player play. They are much more directed at just improving quality of life. So uh, clans and groups, which allow people to find the content in players or um, users that they want. So you can imagine map editor groups that have peop other people that are building things together or players who love to use custom games and, and play in the new arcade space. Arcade, which is coming online, I don't know if you know this, but we have a pretty significant patch that we actually have a beta for that's in beta right now that totally changes the UI around custom games, um, really gives them the prominence I think they need. Um, and then there's a number of other things, global play, um, language packs, uh, replay functionality. One of the coolest ones that we have coming up is called Resume for Replay. So for helping new players, you can get a replay that takes you to a particular time, timing area, 10 minutes in, play perfectly, resume from that point with another player, and then start just working on what you do from that point, not having to do that. It's also an opportunity to have basically training replays that a coach could, could give to a player or whatever. Um, so there's some improvements there. It is an area that I, I feel pretty passionate about that I want us to ultimately address and make it more friendly to players and convince them. But 
for the most part, it's, it's quality of life improvements across functionality and UI so that more people can have access and discover things like their friends. Uh, quick join in D3 is a great example of, hey, oh, wow, you don't have to learn to right click to jump into a game. You see that, no, there's somebody viable right now you can play with. Those sorts of things are, are gonna be vastly improved with Tardis One.